The guys right now have been trying to track some of this. And the, the, oh, oh, what's that? I believe somebody noticed off the apron right there. Yeah, you can see where the, the all the bottom of the valence right there, where you yeah. see that orange is you all tore up. Completely off the racetrack at the at the dog leg there. You can see it's damaged the left front fender, buckled in. They hit the apron on the back stretch and bottom. Sure did. Yeah, it shot him all the way over to the grass. What happened on that on the second lap? Nothing. Uh, after the deal was over with, I I ran off the racetrack on the inside. I just pulled down to the inside and I was, uh, you know, not paying enough attention. I uh, caught the uh, inside curb there. I saw you paying attention to it now. I mean, just tore up the front a little bit. No big deal. No, it's not any big deal. It's a perfect disappointment. Uh, the car was really good in practice. Uh, ran faster than that in practice. Pace car is off. Three races to go. In the chase to the championship, will Arizona be a red state, a blue state? It could be a mess state in turn one. Look at this. Robbie Gordon. The Robbie Gordon at red and blue car trying to get on the inside. Got a great jump, but they moved over to block that attempt. <laughs> That's our race director David Hoot saying, somebody tell Robbie Gordon Spotter that was a legal move, but not a very smart one on that one. Good so far. Clean. And, and that's going to be the problem today. Turn four has been the problem all weekend. Guys coming up that corner, going over a patch with a little tunnel in, and coming up and a loose grip on that new pavement, slapping the wall off turn four. Jeff Green, Scott Riggs, 43 and 10. That's for 12th and 13th places. The first one's out of line. This corner is so difficult, 3 and 4. I mean, it is, it's flat. It's really, really hard to drive. If you can keep your car down on the bottom, you're going to pass a lot of cars because most of them will slide up that racetrack, kind of diamond it. And now the caution is out. Is that for Matt Kenseth? Yeah, left rear, left rear tire flat. We saw exactly, exactly the same thing on a bush car yesterday. The tire just left there. It sits on the racetrack. That's why the caution flag is out. But yesterday it happened early, didn't it? Yeah. Which could have been pressures. Yeah, the caution flag is for that tire laying on the racetrack. Matt Kenseth was fifth at the time, and after the engine problem in Atlanta last Sunday, that knocked him back in the championship. Another problem here today in Phoenix. All the guys over the wall trying to lift up that car, struggling. Now they've got the jack underneath. Now they pump it up. They'll change the left side tires and then send Matt back out on the track. Trouble, turn four, a pile up, including the championship leader, Kurt Busch. Mark Martin has turned around. Bush. And then McMurray. Yeah, but Bush is driving away, so I don't think he did any damage to his car. Ward Burton, Kevin Harvick, Jamie McMurray also in it. Right front corner of Kurt's car is a little yeah, caved in there. Got some damage, but I mean, they can fix that. McMurray. Drives away. Doesn't look like he has a damage as well. I don't see a lot of damage on any of the cars. They just got lucky. Keep an eye up there in the far right. Looks like somebody just lost, lost control. The guy's got sideways there and looked like Kurt Busch was one of them. That looks like almost like there's liquid on the racetrack for all those cars to spin. And everybody else just jams on the brakes. Ward Burton Zero goes around and around. And nobody really did hit anything. No. I mean, watch how close Kurt comes to hitting that outside wall. Oh, or Mark Martin. I mean, oh, Mark Martin saved two race cars right there by jumping on the brakes and spinning that car out. Mike Wallace in the four car. Harvick got tagged a little bit there by the 01 car of Joe Nemechek. That was just everybody jumping on the brakes and the accordion effect. On board the Mark Martin. Watch what Mark does here. Oh man, he pounded the 12 car. Joe, <laughs> Elliot Sadler. Newman is going to be now on the lead lap. Yep. He's going to make up all that ground. Because the caution flag is out. Mm. 
Well, there's a championship bid that's taken a hit uh, and a hurting in the last three weeks for Elliott Sadler. Yeah, that's a lot of damage. It's going to take a while to get that car fixed. Elliott Sadler came on and said, we cut the right front tire, and there is a bunch of stuff broken. We've got a lot of work to do. Well, that might have had something to do with it. All right, that certainly did. That's what probably put the right front tire down, and now he's really going to... There it goes down, right there. You see the yeah. marks on the racetrack. I guess the question is, was it down before he hit the wall in turn four the first time? Tell you what, that turn four this week has gotten so many cars. Alan, after going almost the entire season without a DNF, Elliott, three three weeks in a row, what happened today? Uh, I just uh, got on the outside of Robbie and then just kind of run out of room. Uh, I don't know if he knew I was there, and I kept give, giving him room, giving him room, and then just run out of room. So it was a mistake on my part, uh, racing too early. Uh, I just hate it for my guys. I put them in some bad situations and uh, and uh, just kind of kind of messing up. It's just hard to swallow. Really wanted to run good today for pedigree, so uh, it's tough. But uh, I'm man enough to say it's my fault. I should have known when to race and when not. So I'll get back out and do the best I can. Not this week. We're trying again next week. And after falling out of the race in Atlanta, with an engine problem a week ago. This could be double trouble where the championship's concerned. I guess he used up all his luck last year, huh, Bill? Yeah, the second week in a row, Alan. Remember, Matt got out of the car last week and was very disappointed. Well, they were hoping this was going to be their day, but second week in a row, they could be done early with problems under the hood. Bernhardt Jr. Look into the inside of Casey Mears for second with 15 laps to go. Now, this is trouble for Gordon. This is trouble. Big trouble. But Casey Mears is hanging there, remember last week. Oh, uh -oh. trouble. Caution's out. Jamie McMurray into the wall in turn two. Here we go. Can we play tag? Oh, he gets underneath them. Oh, two cars came off the corner as one. Jeff Gordon will lead that lap, but will he lead the next one? Nope. Earnhardt Jr. to the lead. Nine laps to go. 110,000 on their feet here in Phoenix. Oh, who's that? Casey oh, Mears. The left rear finally goes. Caution is out. Yep. Kind of in the danger zone. And you think the drivers had adrenaline earlier? Nothing compared to what they're feeling right now. Looks like Junior gets through the gears without any problem. Getting busy back around fourth spot. Casey Kane trying to squeeze up on the outside of Harvick. Junior gets away. Newman with a run at Gordon for second into turn three. He drives on the inside. Gordon has no choice but give him room. Oh, Harvick runs Casey Kane way up the racetrack. <laughs> White flag. Final lap for Phoenix. And Junior's loving this. He's looking in the mirror going, whoopee. for second with the pack stacked up behind him while Junior gets away. Wow, that's good stuff right there. <laughs> Is that ever good stuff? Newman was just sliding that car up off the corner, but 24 car looks like he's got enough. Keep second. No, not that time. After two straight 33rd place finishes, Dale Earnhardt Jr.'s championship bid is back on track. He wins at Phoenix. Newman edges Gordon for second. Got us a little uh, altercation at the uh, pit entry. That's Kevin Harvick and Casey Kane. It's uh, Kevin Hamlin, Jeff Burton's crew chief, Kevin's former crew chief. Richard Childress' teammate out there. Those guys are going pretty hard at it there last lap. Mayhem ensues. What was the contact with you and the nine coming to Pitt Road? Uh, we were just racing hard there at the end uh, with our Jim Goodrin, Goodrin Chevrolet and... Uh, he started running into us after the caution, so I just wanted to stop and ask him uh, what the problem was. It was a good run for you guys and a great recovery. Yeah, it was a great recovery. Our car was super tight at the beginning, but uh, man, did I, I just love this stuff.